what is up you guys we are here back with a Fortnite save the world video this time and today as requested from you guys I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a glitched out home base so uh, let's get started first I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks that you should know before you do get started um, I would prefer you guys to do it in Stonewood Stonewood works best I have done the glitched out home base in uh, Kenny and Plinkerton as I am in now but um, if you guys are trying to do the glitch, the duplication glitch with those glitched out home bases, then I would prefer you to do it in Stonewood, being that it works best. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first off, you're going to want to start somewhere in your HP that is clear and open, as you can see right here. Now, you guys can decide how you want to build your platform. You can do it a small build. You can do a big build. It does not matter. Or you guys can just copy my build. Uh, I like to start off with just a regular bottom platform, a ramp, and a wall behind it. Just so that way I can be secured in case anyone that comes to my HB has edits or anything like that. And then I have it build three up. So I'm going to break this one. And then you're just going to build a platform to start off with. So this is going to be a 14 by 18 build. 14 sideways, 18 long. So let's go ahead and show you guys now. All right. So you're gonna build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go eleven. Actually, no, let's break eleven. Now we're gonna put eleven. All right, so eleven. And then we got twelve. You have thirteen, and then we have fourteen right here. Now, I do want you guys to know that it doesn't matter how long each way. Like, for example, I know it kind of is confusing how I went like seven or eight on that side and then like six or seven on this side. It doesn't matter which how many on each side you go. For example, I could have did a whole 14 going down this way. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you have them placed down. Now you're going to do 18 going long way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we have 18. As you guys can see, 18 is right here. So, all you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to go down and just fill that in. Now, like I said, if you guys don't want to build yours too high, don't worry about it. Your thing doesn't have to be off ground. Me, I just like to have mine off ground because I don't know. I just feel like that makes it better. But if it, yours is not off ground, do not worry. It is perfectly fine. All right, so let's go back and fill this up. And basically, after you do 14 by 18, you're just going to want to fill in the square. Boom. So let's just go and fill in the square. And like I said, I will show you guys my complete version of the whole uh, platform build once we go to my stonewood because that's where I have it built that so this is just a pretty long process you guys I would uh, advise you guys to try to get like a buddy or something to help you out if you could get four people in your lobby that you trust that can help you out that would be great because it will take you way less long than it would by yourself so anyways, you guys are just going to fill this in. And, uh, yeah. Also, some of you might not have traps, but I would prefer you to use traps. Uh, not until you're done building the whole platform, but I'll let you guys know when. And as you can see, I'm using brick or I'm using metal and wood. Brick is also available. It does not matter what platform material you build out of. You can build out of any material. Just build the platform. That's all that matters. Now, I will tell you guys, just so that you don't get confused, because I don't know if I confused any of you guys, but just so you don't get confused about the trap thing, you don't want to place any traps until you're done building the whole platform. Not just the bottom floor, but it's going to be about 11 floors if you're using my build. The 14 by 18 build, it should be about... 11 to 12 floors high so after you guys get done building this first platform like I showed you 
she's gonna want to come over here and uh yeah when she come over here she's gonna want to build another ramp like this and start again boom like that and you guys are just gonna want to fill it up once again this is the second floor like i said you guys will have about either 11 to 12 floors high you're gonna want to make sure you build all 11 to 12 floors before you decide to place any traps down and uh once you hit your 11 or 12 floor you will be able to reach uh, max builds and you won't be able to fill up the last floor which is perfectly fine do not worry so anyways yes as you guys can see this is what you're going to want to do you're going to want to keep doing this until you get to the 11th or 12th floor high and you reach max builds after that then you should be good so let's go ahead and exit the hp and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like done Also, if you guys would like me to put out a tutorial on how to do the duplication glitch once you have your glitched out home base, go ahead and type in the comments and let me know down below. You guys, if you are new, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. If this video is helpful, hit the like thumb button, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and load out. You guys will notice that once you get done, building the whole thing that your lobby is going to be very laggy and that's what you want also you're going to know that having a glitched out home base the purpose of having one trying to do the duplication glitch is to lower your launch time and you guys will see as we're about to launch into my stonewood where i have it built so let's go ahead and load into stonewood and as you guys can see the usual loading time is about 145 uh probably like 150 145 but you guys will see now as we load in, my launch time being that I have the glitched out home base in Stonewood is way shorter than 150 or 140. So as you guys can see the time is going down and it's just going to keep counting down. It's just gonna keep counting down. If you guys don't already have a code in the item shop, go ahead and make sure you use my supporter creator code. I'll have it in the description if you guys do not know what it is. And uh, yeah. You see we're already at 120 and that is gonna be your goal you guys. So if you guys do do the glitch style HB and you use my build, let me know what your times are below down in the comments. Type your times once you're done. Your goal is gonna wanna be close to under a minute or as you guys can see around a minute and 10 seconds is fine also usually mine lets me launch in around a minute and 10 to a minute and 12 seconds but it's going lower than a minute we are currently at under 50 seconds if you have yours under 50 seconds yours is definitely guaranteed to work 100 percent of the time when you do the dupe glitch so uh, yeah as you can see that was 36 seconds which is a very good launch time so uh let's go ahead and launch in and i'll show you guys what the finished product should look like when you guys are done like i said again when we load in you guys will see traps on mine but like i said you're not going to want to place traps on yours until you're done building all the floors like i said you should have at least 11 to 12 floors and you will know when you're done because you'll hit max build after you do hit max build that's when you're going to want to go through and place floor and ceiling traps you don't want to place wall traps you're just going to want to place floor and ceiling and you're going to want to just put them everywhere and uh i'll let you guys know because you're also not going to want to fill up all 11 to 12 floors full of traps if you do end up filling them all up you're most likely going to get a blue screen which will close your application or you'll basically get an error in your application every time you uh, try to do the dupe glitch so once we load in fully I'll show you guys about what level you should stop placing traps at and you should be comfortable to uh, try the dupe glitch out so uh, yes yeah, so we're about to load in We're ready to expand. All right, as you guys can see right here, when you're ready to start the fight, select the HP is glitched as I have these trees and stuff going through. 
that have already been broken down those will disappear in a minute and I am froze right now but we're not worried about that boom as you guys can see everything has disappeared everything's loaded in and this is what the finished product should look like so we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve that is a total of twelve floors like I told you guys earlier once you hit the twelfth floor the 11th to 12th floor you will reach max builds as you guys can see up there it is not complete that is because I ran out of structures and that is perfectly fine so as you guys can see this is the 14 by 18 and uh, yes this is what it looks like after the traps and everything are placed I'll go ahead and show you guys what the top looks like like I said if you do get glitched out traps like this that are floating do not worry about it Make sure you don't break anything, any build once you start placing traps. Do not break anything. Let's go ahead and go to the top of this. And as you guys can see, um, this is the this is the let's see, let's go ahead and count what floor this is. They got one, two, three four five six seven eight so at the eighth floor you guys are going to want to stop placing traps you guys do not want to place traps more than the eighth floor so that way you don't have to worry about getting an error in your application every time you try to dupe or anything like that as you can see on the eighth floor i have traps placed and also you guys can notice on the eighth floor there are no ceiling traps so when you guys get to the 8th floor, you're going to want to only place floor traps, no ceiling, just floor. And uh, the rest of the floors you're just going to want to leave blank. At the top you can see the, the floor is not fully finished, but it is almost. But that's basically it. This is the glitched out home base. As you guys can see, every time I look at it, it's very laggy. And that is what you want. You want your lobby to be very laggy after you finish. And you want your load end time to be very low, at least around a minute and... 15 seconds and below and uh yeah that is how you make a glitched out home base you guys so like i said i'll have all the things in the description of what you guys need to know if you guys do forget just look in the description and i'll have it there if this video did help you guys and you guys did go ahead and glitch out your hp like i said don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications and uh stay tuned for the next video i'll see you guys